You're very welcome back now. We have a light summer lunch coming up for you. Yes, Riggers from Riggers D8 is back and in charge of the kitchen today. Good morning to you, Riggers. Hey guys. Hey, How's it going? You? Good. Very good. Facing into a busy one today? We are. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So That's outdoor dining in full day. swing in your place today. Yeah. yeah. So we, we just have like a, like a small amount of tables. Like it's not a huge area. We don't have a terrace. So right on the street. Okay. So, um, but we're lucky we're at the end. So we have like an extra bit of space. So we've as many as we can possibly have. Okay. And plenty of Father's Day bookings? We have a good few. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Right. What are you serving up today? So this is like a nice, you could do this for your dad today for lunch mm. very nice summery light lunch so we're doing some hake okay so i've got some fillets of hake here i have a pan going um i've just cooked one there so you can see that's the finished product right so my pan is already nicely seasoned i'm putting the skin side down and that's kind of on a fairly high heat as you can see um, and then we're just gonna leave that for the skin to crisp um, you know hake is like nice and delicate like cod it small fillets like that if you're cooking them skin side down by the time the skin is nice and crisp as long as the pan is not screaming hot but nice heat to get the, the skin crisp mm. the flesh will be practically cooked one quick flip lower it down leave it for a second about three minutes and then that should be done bit of color you know, on the other side bit of color on the other side you can always finish it in the oven if you're nervous about frying fish like this for presentation purposes it's not a big piece you can always do your fillets like in a pan and then just finish them off in the oven. So I'm gonna let them sit, all right? I've seasoned the skin okay. to dry out some moisture, to try and get it to crisp a little bit quicker. And then in this pan then here, I have some um, onions. So what we're gonna do is a butter bean mash. So you could do this like, um, I'll show you when I'm putting it in. You can leave these kind of whole and kind of full or just, I just lightly bash them with a fork. So you've got some nice texture between the mash and, and the, beans. the beans. Yeah, okay. so we're, we're, we're sauteing off an onion and a little bit of oil. <laughs> Um, so fairly high heat on that, obviously we're always trying to do this quite quickly. So you just want your onion to be nicely translucent, yeah, not a huge amount of colour on it, let it sweat off a little bit, you can add a little bit of salt into that. Um, if you're frying onions and you want to caramelise them on a, on a lower heat, um, you can always add a little bit of salt at the start and it kind of brings out the moisture keeps the temperature low and helps the caramelization process, but it takes a while, do you know, as opposed to really quickly. It's kind of gradual. Yeah, so you can see that they're starting to go, right? So what I'm gonna do is add a couple of um, cloves of garlic into that. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna grate them in. This is how I do my garlic for everything. Just peel it and grate it. Okay. All right, I get rid of the skin. And it just means that it's easier than the butter bean Chocolate. mash is a good idea, isn't it? Something different and very it, healthy. It, it, yeah, when did you first come upon the, the wonders of butter bean? I realised I'd done this before, actually, with another dish, but it, mean, it was last year, I think. Um, so, like, the great thing about it is, is that they're butter beans, so they have a buttery kind of texture. Um, when they're mashed down, they resemble kind of mash. They're not necessarily a substitute for mashed potatoes. I mean, some people would prefer either or. Um, so... I used to do them with lamb all the time, like with the uh, lamb shank and a little bit of stock in it, so it's more like a, a cassoulet kind of sauce. Okay. But then I just mash them and just put loads of seasoning in and just for, I think for dinner parties and stuff, mm. really easy because you have to open a can and throw them in and it's done. Drain them you know? and them in, okay. So I have my garlic in there, I can immediately smell that. Yeah, all right? lovely. Um, so the heat is hitting it, so in with the butter beans. So they're just going in straight out of the tin. So they're going straight in out of the tin, right, so let's just let them go for a couple of seconds. Um, what I want to do then is add some... Um, dried herb, they have some oregano there. So add that in. It smells and good, doesn't so it? it smells, smells good. fantastic, so Nice classic, yeah. I suppose quite French flavours. Okay. All right, um, we're gonna do a little bit of lemon zest. Actually, I'm gonna do a little bit of lemon juice in this. As well as the zest? Um, no, I'm just gonna do a little bit of um, juice in this because I'm gonna zest in with a salsa, right? Okay. So a little bit of lemon there. Okay, and we just wanna let that go, and that's gonna keep, that's gonna cook away for a few minutes, right? In the meantime, let's just check on our fish. So our fish should be nicely um, crisp on the bottom. Mm. Perfect, right? So we're gonna flip that. So that's looking good. Um, what I'm gonna do then is make a little salsa for the top, okay? So okay. I have some diced tomato. So I've just diced up about two, three tomatoes. Um, some capers, about three teaspoons of capers. Lovely. Okay. I love capers too, but I think they're a lover hate kind of food, aren't they? Too they salty are. for some. They are. Yeah. A lot of people hate they them. They are right? very salty. Yeah. They have that kind of fishy kind of vibe to them, but they're not really fishy. Like they're lovely and salty. I love them. They just enhance the flavour of everything so yeah. well. Right, give it a right, real so kick. So I'm going to do a little garlic in that as well. 
Okay. And this salsa could be used with so many dishes, anything. Shane. Absolutely anything. So, um, chicken is the obvious one if you're doing meat. A um, little bit of seasoning in that. Um, but this would even be nice with, you know, with like steaks, like really thin barbecued steaks. Throw this on top. It would fancy up a barbecue, wouldn't it? Would it? fancy yeah, up a barbecue. It's something I'd consider putting on, on steak salsa. Yeah. So it's kind of quite like South American or Mexican, like chimichurri, herby, kind of oniony, garlicky kind of salsa sauces. They put that on red meat a lot, which I love, you know? So um, I'm going to tear some mint, just roughly tear up some mint into that. Okay, some olive oil. And I put my seasoning in. And then I'm just going to rip up some parsley. All right. You have the fish on a low heat here, Shane. It's now, I've now reduced it down to about a mid heat. Okay. Yeah. So um, just let that uh, come together. So what you want to do with a salsa like that is you want to let that sit in the fridge for a little bit of time, um, just to let the flavors. So the salt will bring out the flavors of the tomato. It'll create its own little um, uh, sauce. A little bit of olive oil on it, and this is what you have left. So I just made this this morning. So it's just come together really, really nicely. Okay. Lovely. So what we want to do now is to de-healthify it. Okay. <laughs> we were going so well up we're until going now. So well, is lob in. Lob in a hell of a lot of butter. Lob in a knob of butter, okay? Yeah, we were, we were tr exchanging glances going, he hasn't yeah, done anything is, bold yeah, like, to it uh, yet. As always, we, we, we gotta have, this is rigorous, what's yeah, going on? You know, we, got, we have to You've have changed. Have <laughs> well, it is Father's Day. It is Father's Day. The daddies are allowed to indulge, aren't yeah. they? They are, yeah. So I'm going to do the zest. So you were, Anna, sorry, you said about the... Um, the zest as well. I am going to put a bit of zest in that now to finish okay. it, okay? So I have a little bit of juice. And I'm going to do a little bit again in the Into salsa. the salsa okay. as well. And maybe just a little squeeze as well. Wow. All right? A lot a of flavours going on. Yeah. Okay, so loads of flavours. Now, as you can see, there's a few components to this dish, but it is quite quick, you mm -hmm. know? It's not hard if I can do it in this time. And then all we want to do is just take a fork, right? So I don't want to mash these with like a potato masher, you know, because I want a little bit of texture in them, right? And you could add some stock, which would be delicious, a splash of white wine at this point. Oh, nice. And that you could keep it, maybe some of your diced tomato in there as well. And that will give you like a nice cassoulet kind of vibe with some chicken stock. But I just wanted to try and emulate a mash, okay? okay. Now, there's loads of fiber in this. Um, so it is quite a healthy dish, right? So keep going as much as you want, right? Yes. I'm going for about Say 50 50, yeah? Okay. Mm. And right. then at that point, you're, you're ready you're to plate, plate aren't you? So that's a bit it, okay? So you just want to let that go for another second or two just to bring it together, okay? And then, nice big serving spoon. Plate that There's up. kind of three stories going on here, isn't yes. there? Three layers. So use a fish slice, not your fingers. <laughs> you know, I have asbestos fingers. He's a pro. Some salsa. And that smells and looks and really smells, good, Shane. It smells gorgeous. It's lovely. And then, um, what you can do is then just another little bit of lemon zest over the top. It's the finish up beautiful. And that's it, done. Maybe a splash of olive oil. Gorgeous, and Shane. Well done, Shane. Well, good luck that's today for a busy day. Thanks, Thanks a million. Happy Father's Day to everybody. Indeed. Thank you, Shane. Thanks a million. Now, as always, full recipe details are up on the website, or you can check out Riggers D8 in Dublin's Inchicore and tell Shane we sent you, and he'll kick someone off a table and let you in. <laughs> he'll right? sort you out. <laughs> you'll, you'll love us for that. Yeah. Right up next, we're chatting to two famous dads about fatherhood. Don't go anywhere.